Hey y'all! So I just got done filming the uh, Eliza Vecca Hellpore mask. If you haven't watched that yet, go watch it. I'll leave it linked down below. This time I thought I would do a uh, how I clean my brushes. I have three different products that I use for just a daily cleansing. I use the Sephora Daily Brush Cleaner. I like it. Um, it doesn't dry out my brushes. It doesn't leave them super weird or, you know, stiff or anything. Um, I really enjoy the Cinema Secrets brush cleaner. I really like this a lot. Um, I'm probably going to have to purchase the bigger bottle of this. But I've really been enjoying that. And it's cool because it comes with like a little tin that you can pour it into. And then what I use to actually clean them is the Sephora Solid Brush Cleaner. I also have a Beauty Blender Solid. I got it as like a 100 point perk. So as soon as this is done, which is it going to be much longer, obviously. I'm just going to stick that in there. And the, the Solid Brush Cleanser comes with like the little silicone thing that you can scroll your brushes on. But if you don't have the Solid Brush Cleaner or if you don't want to go buy it, that's fine. I also use this, we have a Cetaphil Solid Bar Soap that we use. Um, after we get tattoos and stuff, of course, because you're supposed to have like a gentle cleanser and rinse your tattoos off and such. So sometimes if I'm just being extra lazy, I'll use those just to swirl it around and clean it off real quick. And I just want to do a quick rinse and I don't feel like getting the solid brush cleaner out. But I'd say I try to clean my brushes at least once a week. Try to. <sighs> it doesn't always work out that way. I do daily clean them pretty often, um, especially my face brushes because I don't like to spread bacteria around, you know, because it just makes acne worse and I'm not trying to make it any worse than it already is. But anyways, if you want to see how I clean all my brushes, then just keep watching. Alright, um, I'm also going to clean both of my sponges while I'm at it since I'm cleaning all my tools. Um, but first, just to do a quick like a quick cleanse with the Cinema Secrets. I'm gonna demo that real quick. I take, usually take like one of these, I think it comes in like a pack of 18 from Walmart. They're like $4 or something like that for a bunch of rags. I don't use these on my face. These rags are really rough. Like they're not good quality rags at all for your washing your face. They are good, okay. They are good, however, for cleaning brushes. So, I'm just going to take one. I'm going to take one with white bristles so you can tell. So what I do is just pour like a little bit. You don't need a lot with this. Like even this travel size bottle is lasting me for a long time. So you take a little bit, dip your brush into it, and then wipe it off. Do it a couple times just to make sure it's good and wiped off. Pat it dry. And as you can see, it's all clean now. So I just have a trickle, of, like a little stream of warm water. So I take the solid cleanser, run it up under the water, get the brush wet. Don't hold your brush up into the water because there's glue in the ferrule. And if you get water and soap up into this part, it's going to start to degrade it and your brush is going to start shedding and it's going to go bad faster. So hold it down into the water is what I normally do. And then I swirl it around in the brush cleaner. Take the little pad that comes with, or you can do it with your hand, it doesn't matter. Like you can just run the brush over your hand. I just use this because that's what it came with. Swirl it around on there. Swirl it around under the water, down into the water. And then I set it on a towel to dry. Next I'm going to clean my sponges because they're pretty dirty. Um, I really like this EcoTool sponge. Like I like it a lot. I think I've mentioned it before though. Like. It's got all sorts of tears in it already, which is super disappointing. Like, look at that. That's a little bit ridiculous, but anyways. So I just swirl the sponge around in the solid cleanser and then massage the soap into the sponge. All right, and then I wring it out, and now it's nice and clean. Just set it over on that towel. Again, I get it nice and wet. I'm gonna take the bar soap for this one because it's kind of hard to get in there.
looks like that's all empty now, so I can stick my, go ahead and stick my, uh, beauty blender cleanser in there. Um, now I lay all my brushes at an angle. This, uh, rag up underneath and the lip of the sink kind of creates them in a downward angle just to make sure that none of the water is dripping back down into the ferrule and so that they're just getting, you know, completely dry. I'd lay them on a rag. All right, well, I really appreciate y'all watching. Um, if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. Feel free to subscribe. Um, I'll have all the, the stuff that I use, like the Cinema Secrets and the brush cleaner linked in the description box. Uh, I know this video was kind of short and simple, but I really do, again, appreciate you watching. Um, and I'll see you next time. Bye! Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Where's Weepy? Weepy is the dog ever.